Advent is a period of four weeks in preparation for Christmas. Now, we prepare for the coming of Jesus, really. We celebrate when he came once, that's 2,000 years ago. We celebrate that. It's a birthday party, if you want. But more than that, we celebrate the fact that he is going to come again, and we are going to meet him again. In the book of Revelations, we have this beautiful verse. I am knocking at your door. If you open for me and I come in, then we can sit down and we will eat together. Jesus is knocking at our door, but we have to open it. He, he, he doesn't have the handle outside. We have to open it from inside. And Chris, uh, Advent is this. We open our doors to Jesus, remembering that one day he is going to appear again. He said himself, no, at the end of time, he will come in glory. And this is what we celebrate also, the future. In the run-up to Christmas, many people obviously want to celebrate and spend time with family, but we've seen community COVID outbreaks over the last few months with cause for concern. So what does the church advise this Christmas? Well, obviously, the church celebrates Christmas on two levels. No? The spiritual level, which is more personal and liturgical church thing, and on the level of celebrating outwardly, you know, materially, if you want. Unfortunately, I say that the material aspect seems to have overtaken the spiritual aspect. Many people celebrate Christmas mainly by partying, etc. So for those who for them, Christmas comes to enjoy themselves in the case that because of the pandemic, we cannot do that. They seem to say, then we cannot celebrate Christmas. But that's not the fact. Actually, Christmas in a way, no, I'm not saying that it should be like that, but in a way it can be celebrated better when you're quiet, when you're uh, considering your poverty really, the fact that you're lonely, whatever it is, and in those hard periods of time, you reflect about what God has done for us. What is Christmas about? Christmas is what St. John says, no? God loved the world so much that he sent his only son, so that those who believe in him will be saved. So you contemplate God loved us so much, he sent his son. How, is we, how are we going to respond to that? That is what we have to reflect about. The pandemic will not take that away. The pandemic will take away the external manifestation, if you want. But that is not the most important part. For me, at least as a Christian, the most important part is the spiritual side. How can you celebrate Christmas? if you're not celebrating what it is for, the birth of a child. If we exclude the child from Christmas, what are we celebrating, really? And what message would you like to give as Advent gets underway? Yeah, in Advent, uh, I, I wrote a pastoral letter about this too also, and what I emphasized is that if God loved us so much, we should show this love to each other. Jesus tells us, because it's a preparation, Christmas also, a preparation for the last judgment, for when we meet Christ and have to give an account of our life. And Christ told us what that would be like. He said, you will be judged on when I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. When I was hungry, you gave me to, to eat. When I was naked, you dressed me. All these, the seven works of mercy, what we call. So Christmas is about trying to help others also. Gibraltar is very good at that, you know. And even those who don't believe in anything, when it comes to helping others, they help. You know, but we have to concentrate on the fact that I would say the majority of the world suffers. Suffers from hunger, from persecution, from wars. Um, if one looks at Yemen, look at what's happening in Yemen. The millions, millions eh, of people who are displaced and who practically have nothing to eat. And that's the world we are living in. After so many thousands of years of preaching peace, preaching joy, preaching help, whatever it is, this is the situation of the world. You go to Africa, you go to South America, there are so many problems, people suffering. How are we going to try to help these people? I know there are organizations and we help those organizations, but at least we try to realize that we are called to love each other. And we love each other not up there in the air by contributing something.